the St. Mary's water tower. The interesting thing is this water tower, it worked since 1900s. So today is 2024. It's worked a lot, 120 years. Apparently today its capacity is not enough for the town. However, it's still in a working condition. On the other side, is a train station. So train, train is still coming to St. Mary's. Only one train truck, but a couple of times a view area coming from St. Mary's to Toronto back and forth. The building itself is old. So you can see the wood, the roof is from wood panel. However, the signing is not limestone, the signing is brick. So I'm back to the township building. Terry Fox lives here. Probably a Terry Fox museum inside. I remember. I remember for what? Oh, erected by the St. Mary's to the memory of our fallen heroes, 1914 to 19. Apparently, people fighting in the First World War from St. Mary's too, and this place to remember for them. Or this, the including with the name for those who lost their life for the First World War. So this building, they name it the Junction train station. They built it in the late 1850s and apparently it was going to be located in close to downtown St. Mary's. However, they built in this location, which is a northeast part of the village or township, because they get free land and has some deal between London, Ontario, other railway. Anyway, it wasn't long life, worked about 50 years, like a train station, and then they built the other one. There is the two days, what I sh showed earlier. However, it's today works like a beer factory and a restaurant. Just to remember for the old train station and the old train, here is some locomotive, which is apparently not from the 1850s, but it's around 80 years old, maybe 100. That's the train, old station in a dock park. So it's a pet friendly community. This is just a right side of downtown, end of downtown of the right side. And this is made by nature. It's not a man made waterfall. This is beautiful. Isn't it? On the back is a bridge. That bridge used to be a train bridge, but today they use as a walkway. I will try to get there somehow. We will see if I can manage it or not. Hopefully I can. So interesting thing, there is a waterfall. So 
is a nature, not the man-made. However, if you walk a little bit, there's a small trunk down here. which they build for fish steps, so a fish can overpass the waterfall. Not now because the water is low, but the water is higher, then they can manage it. So I think it's an excellent fishing paradise here.
as you can read on the sign, we are at Canada's largest outdoor freshwater swimming pool. And they thought that to put their world is not cement, is nature, is in limestone. It's not a man made. Maybe they mined a limestone here before. It's a water park now. Apparently, a kind of cold today, so no one is swimming, but it's still open for the public. The weather is nice. Outdoor swimming pool, natural, made by nature, no cement, limestone. I try to walk to get a other look at it. It's in the roadside. And there is two of them. This is the one for swimming. The other side of the road, a narrower one, the long, but longer, and that one is for fishing. So there is many reasons if you are in this area, but I mean this area, is St. Mary's, Ontario. It's about one hour drive from London, Ontario. So, if you come visit someone in this area, it's really worth your time. Just spend a couple of hours here. It's many nice things to see. Historical buildings, some historical restaurants, international restaurants. Here is some information about this. So when the first settlers found the limestone in the riverbed, they extract many of them. And as you, we saw before, they build houses, a town hall, opera house. Also, they shipped for other communities nearby. There's a big cement corporation here. It's behind this limestone, about one kilometer away, a footer east. But before the cement corporation, the township mined the limestone for many years. Here is an old picture, 1945, they already used this pool, 1945. There is another picture, it even has a diving board. Here is a picture for the old town, the old bridge. So here, what kind of fish you can catch in the other side of fishing. There's a sport complex next to it. But anyway, I'm going to finish this video right now. As I said before, I came here for the reason. And this is making a video is, was just the idea on the spot. Why not if I am here? So I say goodbye now. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy it and please subscribe and see you next time.